Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now May 8th of 2023 and not only are we getting closer to the Ahsoka Tano series which was 100% led by Dave Filoni with the help of Favreau, zero involvement by Kathleen Kennedy which is great and all, and how Lucasfilm and Disney are really gearing towards really bringing Star Wars back on path. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support, and let's get right into the subject here. Now, given that there's a lot of things going on between Kathleen Kennedy, the Disney executives, and a handful of other Star Wars projects as well coming into the equation without her, which is great and all, by the way, there's a lot of things that Bob Iger is currently going through to really find all the different strategies that they can approach to replace Kathleen Kennedy. Now, the main one that Disney made final on May 1st, I don't know if you guys have been following, but it's all going to be highly dependent on the success or failure of Indiana Jones 5. That's going to determine if she's going to get fired or if she's going to stay until her contract ends in 2024. Now, with that being said and all, what's even all the more exciting about this is exactly what Disney recently did for their strategy of getting a new Lucasfilm president to replace Kathleen Kennedy and exactly where that's all going to go for the franchise. Now, specifically, all right, on top of all of this, with Disney and Lucasfilm now actively developing their strategy to replace Kathleen Kennedy if Indy 5 comes to be a failure, box office-wise and fan reception-wise as well, they have recently updated their roster of candidates that are in place to take over Lucasfilm fully and replace Kathleen Kennedy ahead of August to be prepared. Now, recently, Bob Iger and the Disney board came to an agreement that on top of Neil H. Moritz and Dana Brunetti, who are producers, as the top candidates to replace Kennedy, one more candidate recently was added. This includes Hollywood producer Simon Kimberg, who is a producer of the X-Men films, Logan, The Martian, and yes, the Deadpool movies. The reason why Disney holds an interest in Simon is that he has produced popular sci-fi comic book related films that they believe would be a profitable way for the Star Wars franchise. And given that Simon is a Star Wars fan as well and knows much about the lore, they view him as a side option as the Star Wars takeover from Dana Brunetti, who hasn't made anywhere near as many blockbusters. So just to be very, you know, uh, clear here, guys, Dana Brunetti is a producer who is a big fan, but he hasn't really made all that, you know, major stuff out there, like successful blockbuster movies, so to speak. Somebody like Simon Kimberg, I think, would be amazing. Uh, we also have Neil H. Moritz on the list, but he is currently sitting below Simon Kimberg on the candid list. Now, given that there's a lot of things going into this, because Bob Iger and the Disney board want to make sure that they are very well prepared in case if Indy 5 does come to fail, and they have to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy once and for all, you know, get rid of her out of Lucasfilm in total and call it a day. They are adding more and more candidates week by week. So far we have three. We have Dana Brunetti at the top, Simon in the middle, and Neil H. Moritz right at the bottom. And if you guys want to ask me if you guys want my two cents, I think Kimberg would be a better choice than Dana Brunetti. Even though Dana Brunetti is a very big fan, I just feel like I trust somebody more that has a lot of major blockbuster hits out there that is also a Star Wars fan. That combination, I think, is a selling point for me. But moving on, this is where things get a little bit more involved and a little bit more up uplifting involving their entire plan. Now, given that Simon is a very big Star Wars fan, by the way, Simon is now being placed above Neil H. Moritz, who made the Fast and Furious movies, by the way, and just below Dana Brunetti, the maker of fam Fanboys, who still remains at the top. Simon recently met up with Bob Iger this month to discuss his involvement as president of Lucasfilm, and it's something that Simon reportedly desperately wants in order to bring Star Wars into a new path for the fandom. Now, this is the actual uplifting part, is the fact that we got somebody like Simon looking out for us, the community, the fans, everybody else that has had a lot of issues over the years with Star Wars. And when you go ahead and look at everything related to Disney Star Wars, it does need a different path. 
and Simon Kimberg desperately wants to pursue that path. And so I think he's a better fit, even though he has had a couple of, you know, failures out there, like their Fantastic Four remake was a big failure. I think everything else that he has done has been pretty impressive. The Martian, big hit movie. You know, 2015's The Martian was amazing. Uh, the X-Men movies, I mean, I thought are I thought were very well produced, very well made. And let's not forget about Logan, the Deadpool movies. Kimberg, the British-born producer, by the way, really knows his stuff in the film industry and what the fandom wants. Just with the exception of the Fantastic Four failure, other than that, I think he's a great producer. That's my opinion. But moving on. Now, Kimberg was also executive producer for Star Wars Rebels, the TV series. This is a big surprising moment from 2014 until 2018. And this is the major factor why Disney really wants Simon. Even better, Dave Filoni and John Favreau have also been aware about the plan of Kennedy getting laid off and have given Simon a good word to Disney ahead of time as they 100% endorse him to become president of Lucasfilm, given that he has worked directly with George Lucas as well as Dave Filoni has. Now, currently, Kimberg is busy with Deadpool 3. This is where the obstacle comes into play, which would be the only major obstacle if they would need him by this August to take over. Now, it's interesting because they want Kimberg they want him bad, but they're not quite sure if he's going to be available. That's why Dana Brunetti remains at the top. So from what it seems, seemingly here, Disney prefers Kimberg over Dana, but Dana is more open than Kimberg. So Dana's at the top of the list. Now what's interesting about this is that I think a lot of fans need to be very well aware that Star Wars is really changing as we speak. Kathleen Kennedy is only involved in the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. She is not involved in anything else, creatively speaking, for now at least. Everything else is up to John and Dave. Mando 4, Ahsoka, Ahsoka Season 2, uh, Project Blue Point, we talked about this, Jedi Knight, all these new Star Wars shows that will be announced later this year in the fall. There's a lot of th great things coming out of you know, Disney Star Wars, if they have their heads on straight, if they can execute all these projects very well, I think they might very well have a chance of turning things around correctly. And with the help of Kimberg, it would only perfect it, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys, I would love to hear what you all, you know, have to say about Simon Kimberg and those movies I talked about. Were you a fan of The Martian, the Deadpool movies, the X-Men films, uh, Star Wars Rebels from 2014 to 2018? I mean, he's been executive producer for a lot of stuff, and not only an executive producer, but a regular producer. And I think that he really has the right resume here to really complete the job and be the guy to replace Kathleen Kennedy. So that's basically what's been going on this month in May for the candidate list of all of those who are just waiting in line to take over Lucasfilm and guide it into a new path. So overall, I would like to hear what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.